Good day, welcome to Lower Shijibo Mi Farm Time Processor where you show where we show you how we raise our beds and <coughs> how we slaughter them. Basically today we are gonna show you how we administer um the Lasota vaccine um for our beds. Well the first um this is batch C beds. You remember the beds I told you about that we had incident transport in there. Well we are showing you how we apply our Lasota vaccine for them. Lasota is basically used to prevent Newcastle. What is Newcastle? You know, Newcastle is type of disease that affects beds. The it makes the the bed twist their neck. So basically, um, where we get the vaccine is from a good uh, reputable uh, veterinary store. You see how the vaccine comes. The vaccine comes in a frozen dry way. What that does that means it is frozen dry. So it looks like uh it yeah it comes in a tablet form, but no, the vaccine is frozen dry. So before we give the vaccine, like I've always said, we always um, um, make sure that the beds have been staffed for like an hour plus. And for this vaccine, we are we already staffed them, and also we uh, we also make sure that we use uh, milk. The reason why we use milk is to colonize uh, them. What does that mean? It means uh we uh, uh we use the milk to remove any um particles like ionic particles from the water so basically once we oh, we usually make sure that we open the vaccine underneath the water when, once we open it underneath the water in this case underneath the milk so once we open it we make sure we mix thoroughly we mix thoroughly and effectively so once we are sure that we mix thoroughly this thoroughly can be done for almost three minutes so once we are sure that we mix thoroughly, we take the uh, the container of the vaccine out. We just don't dispose it anyhow. We will uh, put it inside a disinfectant. Then we will go and bury it. As you are seeing, they are still using the end to mix it to stir it properly, because you know when the vaccine comes to us, it is frozen dry. So we want to make sure that it is really, really it has really really dissolved in the water. So to ensure that we keep stirring to we are confident that the vaccine has been dissolved in water so once we are sure that the vaccine is um, dissolved in water then we will start sharing but for this um, experiment we still keep on stirring to show you how we do it so once we are confident in it right now we are confident in it that the vaccine has been dissolved in water and another thing that we did is we make sure that we don't have any spillage on the floor because once there's a spillage, you don't want any issue whereby the spillage uh, causes uh, issues on the farm. So what you're seeing is right now is how we give them the water. You see the beds have been starved. That means they have, so they have not had water while they were eating since morning. So the moment we start placing the water in the pen, they start drinking it because they've been starved. Just imagine you eating, you know, Im imagine eating and not drinking water. You know how um tasty you will become so this is the same thing that happened to these birds you know they become very very tasty so now they had no choice other than to drink it so we'll make sure that we leave this um the vaccination in the uh water for them for like uh 15 to 25 minutes or 45 minutes in short so doing that make uh, uh, uh makes the bird drink all the water in there so you see we are uh moving uh, we turning the uh, the drinkers upside down, and as you can see, the moment you turn it, you see you see some other birds they run into it. You see, so these birds are all in number. I think they are thirteen hundred and something on arrival to the farm. So they just been a week plus. I think um um this video was done on Friday, so Friday makes them a week plus. And as you are seeing, they are drinking it, and as they are drinking it, you know it prevents. Um, the Newcastle and you know you can only prevent Newcastle while you give vaccination you can't prevent Newcastle with any drugs or any other other way and the reason why you know these birds have Newcastle is because they uh, uh, they are not uh, uh, they are basically uh, made their genetics is, is not you know like the ones we see outside also this is another um, example of how we give Lasota again uh, for this, we are giving our batch uh, B, 
yes batch b beds the same from the same archery so this batch b beds is uh, has been also staffed also and you can see on the arrival of uh, the vaccine actually this is gomboro vaccine this is not for lasota on the arrival for the vaccine you see that we have already added milk into our water and we've already added ice and as you can you see how the vaccine comes you see how it comes and also when you go buy the vaccine from the veterinary store the vaccine is already labeled but for this video we already took out yeah for this video the vac um the label is taken out so what is gomboro like people always say gomboro is a disease that affects the bossa of birds it's called an infectious bossa disease but you know people call it gomboro so um one of the typical characteristics is your beds will look rough i think that's one of the characteristics i've seen so when it happens you know you can't no 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 medication you give can stop it once it happens so to prevent it from happening that is why we vaccinate against it we vaccinate against it the vaccination is done orally so you know some vaccination is done um uh, either by im or i think it's im and or im io and orally so orally is what we do with um gomboro vaccine and also one of the things with gomboro too i think one of the symptoms is also i heard is um um the um, loose tools like diarrhea and um, the birds will be unable to eat properly uh, i think that's what i i think that's what most people always complain about well for this video that is all i have um, seen it has never happened before to us on the farm so here it is we are uh, applying the vaccine you see how we dip the vaccine underneath the water so once we dipped it underneath the water um we we the water goes into the small bottle once the water goes into the small bottle it dissolves once it dissolves then we will pour it out then we will start stirring um the water and as you can see in this water we already mixed the water with milk and you can see i think we use maybe like um 20 grams of milk if i'm not wrong and also for um this uh batch uh, b um for the vaccine also because the day we were doing this vaccine it was actually very hot you know even though we waited till like uh well 4 35 o'clock it was still hot so we had to add a block to it so once the vaccine is um is um put into water the same way we did for the lasota we are going to bury this um this uh, uh uh the container for the vaccine i think maybe the next time we're going to do vaccination i will show you how we bury and how we put the vaccine uh the used vaccine container um into a disinfectant so again we'll keep mixing till we feel like um, it is okay to be given to the birds so once we we mix properly we mix thoroughly and we make sure that the water doesn't pour on the floor of the vaccine so if the water of the vaccine is poured is maybe pours on the floor what we'll do is that area we will um disinfect that area if we don't like once we disinfect then we will pack it then we'll go dump it somewhere uh, as you can see the beds uh, i think they are going to be two weeks plus now um so i'm um, looking at them so if you can if you can notice like there's no more paper on the floor because now the they don't need paper again see how as we replace the water on the floor see how they are rushing the water the only reason why they are rushing that is because they have been staffed they have been staffed one to two hours i think the total number of these beds right here in this building house it's um a thousand one hundred which is the bad b it's a thousand one hundred for i think a thousand one hundred a thousand two hundred so <clears throat> you see they are already eating and you can see how they are at uh, two weeks old they are healthy they eat well um we don't have any issues with 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 them so the only issues that we will probably you know sometimes have it um and this is all we are going to show you today please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching till we meet again